The story opens in present-day Canada, where we see a mortally wounded Wolverine with his entire shoulder blown off as he makes his bloody journey through the woods. It would appear that the battered and bloody X-Man is being hunted by someone, or something. We then see this mysterious attacker locate Logan using a thermal camera, where it then fires upon the mutant with an energy wave, destroying several trees in the process. Evading the attack and losing copious amounts of blood, Wolverine attempts to flee his assailant, where it finally lets down its camouflage, revealing its identity as none other than a predator from the iconic Predator franchise. Eyeing each other face to face, Logan knows there is nowhere to run, and this may be the end of his once thought eternal life. Things then cut to the past in the early 1900s Alaska, where we see a much younger fresh-faced Wolverine having just hunted a group of animals go to warm himself by a fire. Preparing part of his gathering for food, Logan gathered the rest as pelts, where he loaded his finds onto a sleigh and voyaged into the nearby town where he could sell them to local merchants. It is here that we would realize Wolverine's encounter with the Predator race went on for much longer than we all realized as we see a ship in the skies above where we see one of the creatures leap down onto the icy Alaskan grounds. It then makes its way to a frozen lake where it discovers the drowned corpse of a fellow hunter. The creature then channeled Skyrim main character energy where it looted the dead predator's corpse and took its ancient disc, preparing itself for its next hunt. In town, we see the young Logan make his way to a bar where he is eyed by a mysterious well-dressed man. Offering to buy the mutant a drink, Logan takes the man on his generous offer for several rounds where he even offers to buy the whole bottle. After his many drinks, Wolverine then goes to make his leave where he is stopped by the individual who told him that he wished to discuss something. He told the man that it would be wise to steer clear of him, where he would curiously ask why, where we would then see two rugged looking men approach them. These two are then revealed to be fellow hunters who were quite jealous of the large stack of animals Logan would bring in to sell, where they would pull a gun to his head, demanding for him to reveal where he kept this treasure stack so they could have it to themselves. It would not be a good Wolverine story without a good bar fight, where we would then see Logan brutalize the scoundrels with every weapon he could find, even severing one of the men's hands with a nearby buzzsaw. In his internal monologue, he would reveal that he would not use his claws as often during this time period, for he did not want to draw any more unwanted attention on who or what he was. Leaving behind the usual stack of bodies, Wolverine would make his exit into a wild snowstorm, where he would once again be met by the mysterious man. With tears in his eyes, the man would reveal that his son had been taken by a group of bandits and had sought out Logan to see if he would assist him in getting him back. Feeling sympathy toward the captive child, Wolverine agreed and journeyed with the man to find his boy. Meanwhile, we see the predator of this era using its newfound disc to practice targets on a group of nearby deer. Having claimed its victory, the creature would then level up and combat more dangerous creatures such as a mountain lion and even an orca. Hanging its victim's skulls in the Alaskan woods, the predator would then turn its sights on a local village of women and children. We then cut to Wolverine and the wealthy man making their way through the storm on horseback, where they eventually come across a disturbing sight. Much to their horror and disgust, the pair would discover the hanging skin victims of the predator's recent victories. Believing this to be the work of the bandits who kidnapped the man's son, Logan tracked them down to a nearby cabin, unaware he was being watched by the creature in the not-so-far distance. Fueled with murderous rage, he burst down the door and began cutting each man down to size, 
demanding to know where the boy was being held. Out of nowhere, Logan would be blasted through the heart by a gunshot, his attacker being revealed as the seemingly innocent wealthy man. This was all revealed to have been a trap by the individual who had Logan kill the orphans who he had raised and had worked for him since they recently cut him out of a job. Collecting the dead man's money and going to make his exit, the twisted man's head would be evaporated right off his well-dressed body by a futuristic wave of energy. His killer would then be revealed as the Predator, who was ready to finally do battle with Wolverine and claim him as his next trophy. Having fully recovered from his heart being blown out, Logan lunged at the creature where he jabbed it right in the jaw with his claws, causing it to cough up its iconic green blood. Surprised at his prey's strength, the predator then took off its mask, revealing its wounded, hideous face. With his claws caked in alien plasma, Logan once again jumped at the predator, where the two engaged in combat, where he was soon completely impaled by its spear. Badly wounded, Wolverine would stumble out of the cabin into the bitter cold, where he would tear the weapon from his side so his healing factor could go into effect, all while the Predator too would whip out his next-gen first aid kit, where he also would heal himself in preparation for round two. Chasing the man through the never-ending storm, the alien would snag Logan in the leg with the razor disc, where he would fall in front of a nearby cave. Leaping in front of his victim, the Predator would go in to claim his prize, only to quickly realize he was purposefully led there by the crafty mutant, where out of nowhere, an enormous bear would emerge from the cave depths and drag the monster inside to prepare it for lunch. Letting out his first smile in ages having gotten this victory, Wolverine removed the razor from his leg, where he then made his way back home. This would not quite be the end of things though, as we see the Predator had conquered his fight with Winnie the Pooh's jail time cousin and swore his revenge on what had occurred. Many years later, but still not quite in present day, we would see the likes of an older Logan, Sabretooth, and several other mutants journeying through the jungles of South America as part of the Team X program. Being sent to retrieve a local war general, the soldiers believe this to be an easy mission, that is until Logan came across a familiar sight, yet another hung skin corpse, like the one from many years ago. Suddenly, the mutant cruel would be caught by a razor sharp net, where Wolverine would turn his gaze to the trees above. Much to his horror, he came face to face with the same predator from before, except this time he brought reinforcements in the form of an army of his brothers, ready to claim their prize of mutant flesh.